what is the remembrance of Allah? To develop a connection with him, to understand who he is, to love him, to appreciate the good in the midst of the bad, to appreciate the successes in the midst of the failure, to appreciate the goodness in the midst of the bad, to appreciate the hope in the midst of hopelessness, to appreciate the cure in the midst of the disease. You recognize your maker, subhanallah, when you appreciate him, when you realize he is my maker, I know he's given me so much. He's given me more than he's taken away from me. As a believer, I'm taught always to look at how the situation could have been worse than it actually is. I lost a job while I did not lose a limb. I lost a limb while I did not lose both of those limbs. Subhanallah. I lost a relative. I didn't lose my entire family. May Allah Almighty make it easy for us. I know that each one of us has a different type of a heartbreak because it's part of life. It's part of human living. We have to interact with people. We have family members who may let us down. Sometimes it's not about the haram dating, for example. Sometimes it's that expectation you've had of people. They will let you down. The Almighty will not let you down. They will let you down. Allah Rabbul Izzati Wal Jalal will never let you down. Subhanallah. When you expect a lot, even from your own kids, sometimes you might find them faltering from your spouse. At times you might find them falter and that might be a source or a means of heartbreak. But had you not had that much of attachment to that which you found on earth, you will realize the expectation would be lowered from those you met on earth, be they your parents or your children, whoever else it may be. One of the qualities of this earth is that it will throw at you heartbreak. To lose a loved one, it's not in your hands. You will, in fact, you have to, or they might lose you before anything else. My brothers and sisters, if you're not connected with your maker, how do you expect to heal? How do you expect to come out of it when Allah says those who believe their hearts are comforted by the remembrance of Allah. Like I said, the remembrance of Allah is to connect with him. What should I do? Well, I need to strengthen my bond with the one who made me by worshiping him alone. I have a problem before I even go to the doctor. And that's very important to visit. The doctor is called Al Akhdu Bil Asbab. I am making an effort within the capacity that the Almighty has bestowed upon me. But before you go, raise your hands to Allah and Allah alone. Oh Allah, grant me cure. Oh Allah, cure all those who are sick and ill. Say Amin. Oh Allah, grant me cure and grant the doctor the ability to diagnose correctly what I have and to give the correct medication. What did you do? You know, that the doctor is also going to try based on his ability and capacity, but without the acceptance of Allah and his tawfiq, tawfiq meaning his acceptance, the granting of the ability to do the right thing. Even the doctor can't do much. And that's the reason why there are so many in our midst who are living after medicine gave up. And so many who passed away when medicine thought they were very healthy. They went for checkups every six months, but suddenly boom, and they were gone. Why? That is Allah. That is Allah. That's Allah's plan. When we attach too much to what we found on earth, it's dangerous. Your spouse might let you down. Your mother might let you down. Your father may let you down. Your family members may let you down. Your friends would let you down so badly. You only know a friend when you're in the muck. That's the only time. That's why the English saying a friend in need is a friend indeed. It actually means when you are desperately in need, those who stick with you and help you and come to your rescue or even give you a word of comfort are your true friends. Because many people would not even give you a word of comfort. They would run away because you're in need.